now he was about to scatter the lightning bolts over all the lands, but he feared that the sacred heaven would catch fire from so many flames and the long plain would burn. A different punishment pleases him, to destroy the mortal race under water and send out clouds from the whole sky. He immediately enclosed Aquilonus in an Aeolian cave and let out the south wind. The south wind flies out with wet wings, a beard heavy with rain clouds, a wave of water flowing from his white hair. A crash occurred. Next, dense clouds were poured out of the sky. The anger of Jupiter was not content with his sky, but his blue brother helps him with helpful waves. He struck the ground with his trident, and shook, and with its motion, revealed streets of water. The river, having spread, rushes through the open plains, and now the sea and the earth had no dividing line. Everything was sea, and the shores were also lacking to the sea. One man occupies a hill, another sits in a curved boat and pulls the oars where he recently was plowing. Another one sails over his crops or the submerged roof of his house. This one spots a fish in the top of an elm. The wolf swims with the sheep. A wave carries light brown lions and a bird, who has searched so long for land where he might be able to stop, falls into the sea on tired wings, and where graceful goats just nibbled on grass, now ugly seals place their bodies there.